Let my prayer rise before thee as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Good evening. This is Pastor Spencer, pastor of Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. Today is the 4th of July, and I'm dressed down to be grilling hamburgers and hot dogs and doing chores. So I'm a little more relaxed. It is a Monday evening. Our psalm tonight is the 42nd Psalm. I will be using the Psalter. Take a moment, grab a beverage of your choice. Of course, mine is my favorite coffee. And sit down, relax, and join us as we come into the presence of the Lord. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The 42nd Psalm. As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me continually, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God. With glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude keeps a multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. My soul is cast down within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon and from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the roar of your waterfalls. All your breakers and waves have gone over me. Day by day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a deadly wound in my bones, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And I'm going to use the prayer out of the Psalter for this evening. You, O Lord, who are God, a God of consolation, Comfort and strengthen all struggling hearts and set your bounds to the malice of their tempters and tormentors. Preserve and lead us in a way that, which has been mapped out for us, that taking up our cross daily, we may follow in the footprints of our Lord to eternal glory. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. This last Sunday, the text was where Jesus sends out 72 workers in addition to the 12 disciples, and he sends them with the simple message, the kingdom of God is near. Take no knapsack, take, take no extra money, go without extra sandals, and preach the gospel. You are lambs among wolves, he says. What great comfort that must have been. Not much of a pep talk, is it? But they went, and no doubt they were filled with trepidation. And they took their first steps, like many of us take our first steps when we start an exercise program, slowly and with great deliberation. But they return joyous, and they say, We cast out demons. We had authority over evil spirits in your name, Lord. And Jesus said, I saw Satan like lightning falling from the sky. The power is in Jesus, not in us. And they found that out. They found out that with God. Nothing is impossible. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 
Today we celebrate Independence Day. Maybe it should be a day of independence from the world and its evil desires upon your heart. Time to stand up and say, My hope is built in nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Simply to the cross I cling, nothing in my hand I bring. Well, I pray today is a blessing for you. May you enjoy your evening. I know this is just probably a little bit early, but already people are shooting off fireworks. And so go out there, enjoy yourself, and God bless. Have a great evening in the Lord. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God's blessings. Have a great night in the Lord.